Have you ever imagined a tiny red pepper taking the world by storm? Well, that's exactly what happened with Tabasco sauce. Today, we'll dive into a fiery journey to discover how this humble Mexican pepper became a global kitchen superstar. We will explore the story of a Louisiana visionary who transformed the spicy fruit into the legendary Tabasco sauce, loved by millions. Stick around to uncover the surprising twists and turns in the journey of Tabasco sauce. Trust me, it's not just about the heat, but a story flavored with innovation, tradition, and a dash of mystery. Let's go Tabasco, the original liquid pepper seasoning. Let's meet the star of our show, the Tabasco pepper. This tiny pepper isn't just any chili, it's a special type called Capsicum fruticens. Born and raised in Mexico, these peppers are like little show-offs. Standing tall on the plant and changing color from green to fiery red when they're ready to shine. And don't let their size fool you. They're only about one and a half to two inches long, but they pack a serious punch. What makes these peppers really special is their bold heat. We're talking Scoville heat units ranging from 30,000 to 50,000. It's like going from a cozy fire to a blazing inferno in your mouth. But don't worry, the flavor is more than just heat. It's a wild ride, starting with a sweet, fruity note, maybe a hint of smokiness, and then bam, that intense, lingering heat kicks in. <laughs> this unique combo makes Tabasco peppers a chef's secret weapon for adding a zesty kick to dishes without overpowering the other flavors. Just remember, a little goes a long way. You don't want to turn your meal into a firestorm, do you? As exciting as the Tabasco pepper is, its journey to stardom gets even hotter with the arrival of a visionary from Louisiana, Edmund Micheleni. He wasn't your average guy, he was a true dreamer who saw potential where others just saw a hot pepper. Back in 1868 on Avery Island, land owned by his family, Micheleni decided to experiment with Tabasco pepper seeds. And guess what? Louisiana's warm, humid climate was the perfect home for these peppers. They flourished under his care. But Micheleni was more than just a curious gardener, he had a bigger vision. The South was struggling after the Civil War, and Micheleni was determined to help. He started tinkering with the peppers, trying to capture their unique flavor in a bottle. And guess what? His kitchen experiments led to the birth of the now legendary Tabasco sauce. This wasn't just about creating a new condiment, it was about harnessing the power of the Tabasco pepper and transforming it into something far more. Micheleni was on a mission to create a culinary essential, and he succeeded beyond anyone's wildest dreams. Micheleni's fiery journey with Tabasco peppers was just the beginning. The true magic lies in how these hot peppers transformed into the iconic sauce we love today. Let's crank up the heat and dive into the story of how Tabasco sauce was born. It's more than just mixing peppers and vinegar, it's a tale of culinary expertise, thanks to Edmund Micheleni. It all started with those fiery capsicum fruticens peppers. When harvest day arrived, these peppers weren't just picked, they were treated like royalty. They were ground into a smooth mash like a pepper paste, and then mixed with salt in special oak barrels. These were no ordinary barrels though, they once held whiskey, adding a touch of history to the mix. But Micheleni wasn't about to let any whiskey flavors steal the spotlight from his pepper. He carefully removed the char from the inside of the barrels to ensure the pepper mash remained the star. Patience was key here. The mash wasn't rushed, it was aged like fine wine. For up to three long years, it soaked up the goodness of thyme and those oak barrels on Avery Island. Once the aging process deemed it ready, the mash was strained to say goodbye to the skins and seeds. What remained? A powerful pepper essence ready to meet its match, high quality distilled vinegar. This wasn't just a quick blend, the sauce and vinegar spent a month getting to know each other, with occasional stirs before they were ready to conquer the world. Fast forward to today and guess what? The essence of Micheleni's original recipe hasn't changed. Sure, the mash might enjoy a longer aging session now, but the heart and soul of Tabasco sauce remain the same. It's a testament to a recipe so good that it stands the test of time, continuing to add a dash of history and a lot of heat to dishes around the globe. Now let's cool things down a bit and talk about the name. Tabasco. It's more than just a catchy label, it's a journey through culture and language. Tabasco whispers tales of the past, stemming from Mexican Indian origins. Some say it means place where the soil is humid, evoking lush, vibrant landscapes. Others believe it translates to place of the coral or oyster shell. 
hinting at a connection to rich coastal areas. But the story doesn't end there. The name is a tribute to the fiery pepper's native home, the Mexican state of Tabasco. When Edmund Michelini sought a name for his creation, he chose Tabasco to honor the pepper that started it all, a nod to the place where this spicy adventure began. In 1870, Michelini did more than just name his sauce. He made it official with a patent. It was a statement. By naming it Tabasco, he linked every bottle to the cultural and culinary heritage of Mexico. It was his way of saying, this isn't just spicy, it's steeped in history. So the next time you sprinkle Tabasco on your food, remember you're not just adding heat, you're adding a dash of history and tradition. Ooh, I feel like I'm crying, but like out of my neck and back. With a name that captures its fiery spirit and rich history, Tabasco sauce embarked on a journey from local favorite to global sensation. Let's follow its path as it became a staple on tables around the world. We already learned how Edmund Michelini, our pepper pioneer, planted the first seeds in 1868. The next year, he sent out 658 bottles of his newly crafted Tabasco sauce, mainly to grocers around the Gulf Coast and bustling New Orleans. By 1870, he cemented his legacy by securing a patent for the Tabasco name. This wasn't just a slow burn. Tabasco's popularity exploded. By the late 1870s, it had expanded beyond the South, conquering the U.S. and even making waves across the Atlantic in Europe. This sauce was going global. The Michelini Company, nestled on Avery Island, Louisiana, kept the flames burning. More than just a company, it was a family-owned legacy, where the secret of the sauce passed down through generations. They didn't rest on their laurels, but evolved and adapted, keeping the spirit of the sauce alive. From those quaint cologne-type bottles sealed with green wax, emphasizing its potent essence, the company has come a long way. It's more than just a sauce, it's a global phenomenon, a testament to a good recipe. A visionary family and, of course, the fiery little pepper that started it all. So next time you shake that iconic bottle, remember you're part of a spicy story that's been simmering for over a century. <laughs>
it's time to reflect on the remarkable legacy this little bottle of heat has left in the culinary world. From its early days as a local condiment brewed in the heart of Avery Island, Louisiana, Tabasco sauce has sizzled its way into becoming a global icon. It's a story that's about much more than just spice, it's about heritage, innovation, and a dash of resilience. As we wave goodbye to the story of Tabasco sauce, let's remember it's more than just heat for our meals. It's a legacy spanning over a century, a commitment to quality, and a celebration of worldwide flavors. Tabasco isn't just a hot sauce bottle, it's a tiny piece of history, a testament to the power of a good idea, and a reminder that even the smallest things can have a big impact. Like a simple like and subscribe. Your simple act of liking and subscribing can make a huge difference for us. It's like adding a dash of Tabasco to our creative process, fueling the fire to keep making videos like this. So if you enjoyed this journey, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Your support truly means the world to us.